If I told you this dog had that dog in it. Sergeant Stubby trained with the 102nd Infantry, where he learned bugle calls, drills, and had a salute on command by raising his right paw. This terrier was a tried and true patriot. Brother, when the 102nd Infantry was deployed to France, he was smuggled aboard the ship. Emotional support contraband is undefeated. He learned how to warn soldiers of mustard gas and prevented them from sleeping through attacks. Air ain't got shit on the real best of show. He went into no man's land and brought supplies to wounded soldiers. Pup looked death right in the eye and said, fuck it, I'm on. He bamboozled a German spy's attempt to gain valuable intel by latching onto his leg until U.S. soldiers arrived. My son was playing lock-up D in the trenches. He was injured by a grenade but survived large amounts of shrapnel in his chest and leg. His brother played through more pain than Alan Iverson. The answer, he met Presidents Wilson, Harding, and Coolidge, inspiring the next generation of dogs in the Oval Office. He was aware of the sound of artillery shells before soldiers could hear it. Somehow Sergeant Stubby was off the compound V. Participated in 17 battles, rose to the rank of sergeant, and became a national icon, confirming all dogs go to heaven. We salute your service.